Mind's Eye Audio presents Small Complications Chapter 7 After eight and a half years of marriage, Bobby's life was pretty ideal. At least it was on the surface. Bobby and his wife Brenda were very careful about keeping up appearances. They were a couple that believed in presenting a united front. They never ever argued in public. They barely even disagreed. They never complained about each other to anyone. Actually, they never did any of these things in private either. But you didn't have to be a forensic scientist to see the clues that something just wasn't right. Bobby admittedly brought some baggage into the relationship and made his fair share of mistakes. But by most people's estimation, he was not a bad husband. Behind closed doors, Bobby D was very frustrated. His sex life was down to the bare minimum, and his wife was disappearing from time to time. Worst of all was the fact that he was afraid to confront her. He owned a guilt complex that told him that he deserved whatever she dished out to him, after what he had done to her. But Bobby, it's not like you forced her to do it. I mean, you didn't put roofies in her drink or anything, did you? Shelly asked him. Shelly was the unofficial office hottie at Bobby's company. She and Bobby had been friends for a handful of years now, but their relationship had developed on an entirely different level recently. Shelly was more than just another pretty face. She was educated and exuded class and sophistication. Bobby had merely needed a friend and Shelly just happened to be there for him. Slowly but surely, the trust began to grow. You're right, but if I hadn't brought it up, then she wouldn't have felt obligated to do something that she really didn't want to. Bobby replied to Shelly, How do you know that she didn't want to do it? You told me that she hasn't complained once. Maybe there's something else going on with her, Bobby. You know how women can get a little crazy sometimes. Maybe it's hormonal, Shelly said. Yeah, I guess you're right, Shelly, Bobby conceded. He didn't want to get any deeper into this conversation. He was already well into uncharted territory just sharing his feelings. He was more accustomed to just cramming things into that emotional incinerator deep down inside where things go in and never come back out. He wasn't quite ready to reveal the whole story to Shelley. After all, he didn't need her thinking that her boss was a complete idiot. Meanwhile, Brenda just flitted around like all was well in the world. She continued to have her unexplained late nights out and her private telephone conversations. She still never once mentioned the night that they had a threesome. It was all driving Bobby crazy. He wished that she would just talk to him about whatever her problem was. He was going to have to do something about it and fast. It was a Friday night and Brenda was just arriving home at 1 o'clock in the morning when Bobby decided that they were going to have a showdown. She said hi to Bobby and walked past him and headed straight toward the bedroom. After a few speechless moments, Bobby headed toward their bedroom saying, Baby, I know that you've been under a lot of pressure and I understand completely. I ain't mad at you one bit, but I was wondering if there's anything going on with you that you aren't telling me she wasn't there. He could barely hear the shower running behind the closed door that connected to their master bath. Damn, he said. He just stood there feeling stupid, and he decided that he would just wait for her to come out, and they would definitely talk tonight. He was determined not to let his fear get the better of him, but his curiosity was another thing entirely. Her cell phone was sitting on the dresser, and something inside him clicked. Before his mind could formulate the thoughts, his hands were performing the actions. He scrolled through her contacts and saw several names that he did not recognize. This normally would not have bothered him. Bobby D was not an insecure man. But there was a number in there listed under the name of Private that brought the butterflies in his stomach to life. He had not heard her turn off the water in the shower. He was barely able to toss her phone back on the dresser as she entered the room. She was soaking wet and beautiful. It seemed that in the years together, Brenda had only grown sexier. He missed her touch. I'm sorry, honey. Were you trying to say something before I got in the shower? Bobby froze up. He had so much to say, so many questions that he wanted to ask, and he did not know how or where to begin. Oh, it was nothing. 
You doing okay? He asked. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just very tired. I gotta get up early, she said as she quickly slipped into a t-shirt and panties combo and climbed beneath the covers. Can you get that light for me, hon? She said and rolled over, her back to him. Bobby hit the lights and hesitated for only a moment before he left the room. The next day, Bobby asked Shelly to join him for a bite to eat after work. I really need to talk, he told her. He made the arrangements with the babysitter and decided to take Shelly to the House of Ching, a very nice restaurant that featured authentic oriental cuisine. It was rated five stars by all the critics. Bobby asked for a booth in the back. He did not want any interruptions. He had done a lot of thinking before he asked Shelly on this dinner date. He felt a little awkward, but he knew in his heart that this was what he really wanted to do.